have a seat. Yeah. Really? No. Man, then hell, we got to have Welcome you on, to the Funky man. Panther. Welcome to the Funky Panther, man. So tell us uh, how how did everything go? Went great. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful crowd. This is a heck of a setup. We got, I don't know, 800 people in here. It is a packed least. house. This place is nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, Beautiful, man. How many songs time. did you perform? How many songs did you play? Two, yeah. Okay. Which is quite the change of pace. We're usually doing like nine songs, yeah. 10 song sets. So it's been great. Um, Beautiful crowd. What Music songs did you great. perform? I did a song called The Upside, which is like a pop hip hop record. And then okay. I did the song Wrist Flick, which is my single I put out October 15th, maybe. Okay. Somewhere around there. So, yeah, that's usually the crowd pleaser that we try to, try to whip Hell out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I love South by, and I I talked to Bob. Yeah. Like Visit Fort Worth. Yeah. yeah. Met Bob today and told him, like, you know, this is really cool what we're doing, like, but it's kind of a hidden gem we got with Fort Worth right now. It really now. is. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, like, we're in the mecca of this used to be, like, no one really hung out in Austin, we, but the cool people did. We yeah, used yeah. To come 30 over years here. ago, 20, 30 yeah. years ago. Yeah. And yeah. now, I feel like Fort Worth, we're kind of on that precipice. So it's, uh, yeah. we're on our way up. Yeah. Yeah. It's been nice to kind of see the, uh, evolution and get in because I'm born and raised. So, oh, yeah. You're from yeah, Fort yeah. Worth. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. Same from us. So, what, what is your favorite, uh, let's say your favorite bar in Fort Worth hmm, or restaurant? Bar or restaurant. What's one of your go to spots? I don't know. I mean, I grew up like going to Uncle Julio's and stuff. Okay. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So did we. Um, like, we, we, we lived right over there, uh, yeah. right by Ridgemar. So. Right, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, there's so much good stuff now, but I don't really go out anymore. I'm just always in the studio. Just hey, busy. Man, a little yeah. busy. Yeah. Stick to business. <laughs> Our bar is at the studio, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hang out with the trend boys mostly. Yeah. But um, what's uh, Tricky Fish? I go to Tricky Fish. Okay, a lot. that's a good spot too. Man, that is some. It's like Southern, like Louisiana, like Gulf food. Right. Yeah. Yeah, black and fish Excellent. and stuff like that. Excellent. Yeah, it's good stuff. I so heard that they were a local place. So, yeah. how's your trip here to Austin been so far? It's been amazing. I uh, mm -hmm. had a great time yesterday. We got in. I think we left Fort Worth like six o'clock in the morning yesterday. Yes, it is an early call time for especially for music people. Right? Yeah. God, dang, oh yeah. Man. But uh, no, we uh got in yesterday and then we had the morning buzz kind of the morning buzz day yesterday. Yeah. 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 It was great to see them. Absolutely, they, they did put a great job show. last yeah. night. Yeah, they're so cool. I, I give those kids their props. Every time I can because they're all like 19 to 22, maybe. Really? I didn't realize they were that young. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, wow. And they're very dedicated and they're very talented. And they're yeah. just like, I try to get them to cherish these moments because they're so young and they, they've they got this wave of momentum that they're riding. Yeah. So I mean, who plays South them. by this young, you know? Yeah. I'm no right. Kidding. Can you imagine me 19 years old and be like, yeah. I'm going to play South by. No big yeah. deal. But they're selling out. Like they sold out Ridgely Room. Like a month ago, we okay. opened up my band. So I usually play with a four-piece band. I don't okay. usually play solo anymore. It started out that way. But we play with a full band now. So we opened up for them at Ridgely Room, and they sold it out like 130 people or yeah. so, which is great for a essentially brand-new band. Absolutely. Yeah. So cool. props to the Morning Buzz. They killed it last night. So what are some of your inspirations as an artist? Hmm. I don't know. It's a lot. Yeah. It's everything. I mean, I grew up on, like, Stevie Ray Vaughan yeah. um, and then, like, Outkast. Like 2000s rap music, yeah, like Nelly. Yeah. If you want to go and yeah. take a ride with me, like that, that stuff was like a different vibe of it's very, very melodic, but it's still like hits hard. Yeah. Right. Um, it's like when I try to, when I tell producers that I work with, because I, I can like scratch out ideas on the piano and the guitar, but like if you really want to produce, I need a real producer. And when yeah. I approach them, I say, I want like club pop, like something that's melodic that my mom can sing. Like she can, my mom can hear the melody. Yeah. But also you could play it at brunch in Dallas when everyone's five shots deep and it's like hitting yeah, yeah. and people are like having a good time. You know what I mean? So right. it's like versatile. There's like, right. There's like a, uh, there's a bounce to it, a swing to it that makes it more like club music, club right. pop. That's right. what I like to write. Thank you, sir. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, what's one of your favorite places to, co to come to when you said you come to Austin pretty like every now and then or. Yeah. It's been a while. Well, yeah. pre COVID. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have a yeah. favorite go-to spot here in Austin. Mm, man, I don't know. I don't know the names of these places. You know, yeah, we, we, we were thinking about like, okay, so where have we gone and what do we like? You know, we've gone to Shakespeare's on six. It's been years since we've come and we used to go to Dirty Six all the time. Mm, and then we yeah, came to same. Rainy all the time. And now it's like, I don't know what else to, to do anymore. Mm -hmm. We should probably ask these ladies yeah. what we need to be we doing. Need little, <laughs> little They're just telling us about good tacos. So, I mean, like, yeah, we got a taco spot we're going to check out now. Okay. Yeah. I got the burritos across the street. They were awesome. Really? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's nice. called brothers or something like that. Uh, Bummer burrito. Bummer burrito. Oh, Shout out okay. to Bummer Burrito. Very cool. Um, but no, like I used to always be down here for ACL and yeah. that type yeah. of thing. Um, 
don't know, 2016, 2015, 2017, oh, yeah. all those those years, ACL was hitting then. I didn't go this last year. I saw um, Childish Gambino one of the years I went to ACL. Mm -hmm. That was a good show. We were talking about Childish Gambino with Ernie just a minute ago. He put on a hell of a show at He's ACL. He's an amazing performer. Oh, yeah, for sure. He played College Station when I was in college down there. Oh, really? And uh, it was like there wasn't that many people out there. Like I was front row, like, and he was doing the whole thing. No nice kidding. Straight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So yeah. any any shows, upcoming shows, or any singles or anything you're dropping that people need yeah, to know about? Yeah, I've got a single coming out April 1st. It's called Give That Flower a Drink. So, like, the I've been trying to, like, flex my writing skills a little bit. So yeah. this song is, like, it goes, like, give that flower a drink. It might blossom. A couple good nights, a little sunshine. So it's like a double entendre, and yeah, it's yeah. like a little like. So I've been writing kind of stuff like that. That's coming out April first. Very cool. It's a really great song. Like I've been working with Trim, been working with Blake and uh, the producers there, mm -hmm. and it's kind of elevated my game a little bit. So right, we got to meet Mitch this cool. week. Cool guy. Mitch uh, is awesome. Yeah, yeah. He is very a cool great, guy. Great guy. Of course. Yeah. Co-owner of Trend, and he does all the uh, visual media. Right all the uh, directing of music uh, videos and content. Yeah. He does everything, really. I saw him over there on stage in Morning Buzz last night trying to – they had a little hiccup on – on. Uh, had a lot of reverb on one of the mics and just ran up there. Mm -hmm. Getting the stuff game. done. Yeah. It seems like a workhorse for sure. But, yeah, they're so kind single. Of a, they're a one-stop shop. Yeah, Trend is really awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, single's coming out April 1st. Okay. You can get – like there's a pre-save on my – my Instagram's GR4NT official. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's my artist name, just Grant with a four in the middle. Nice. Uh, there's a lot of debate on how to pronounce that, and I just tell people it's just Grant. That's all it is. <laughs> Any specifics on why? Four, uh... The four was just there because I had to have something. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, yeah. As I put music on Spotify, and it was just GR8NT, and then our accounts got switched, and I was on some other guy's account. He's got the same name, and you had to switch it up. I just put a four in there. Now you're Grant with a four. Yeah, but now we have a four piece band too. So oh, that works. <laughs> yeah, oh, we just go with that. I Let's go with like that. that. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Correlated nice. into that, but uh, no, it's been good. But um, any yeah, we got, shows? We got a couple of shows coming up. Um, I think we're, we're playing in like San Marcos and College Station, and I think we have a show here in Austin, but couldn't tell you the venue yet. I think it's probably TBD. Okay. Uh, but that's April eighth, 9th, and tenth. We'll be. If you're in College Station or San Marcos, we'll be out there. Uh, okay. I think it's Murphy's Law in College Station on the 8th, 9th in San Marcos. I think the venue is also TBD, but we'll yeah. uh, keep everybody posted. On and we'll promote socials. that on, too, on the socials, too. Yeah, we'll make sure yeah, we will make sure. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And, you know, we'd love to have you on, too, whenever you're done. Uh, Where you slow down, if you slow down, yeah, come man. on the show. For now, a it'd be be honestly, it'd be best if you didn't slow down. Yeah. And, uh, in a couple months, you come on, because, you know, you're gonna be busy after this. You're gonna be like really busy, especially sure. with the shows in April. Sure, uh, single coming out in April. Um, yeah. sure. Anything else you want to plug That'd or anything be awesome. like that before you, you go? Um, I mean, we've got shows all the time. We've got music coming out all the time, but um, I don't have anything to plug specifically except okay. for that single. But I'm really thankful for this opportunity, like South by and just yeah. this podcast in general. It's awesome. Appreciate you. Also, I want to know what what's important to you right now. What, what's what's the biggest thing in your life right now sure the big heavy question yeah you got that there. is that's, that's hard the hard final answer. question of the, the interview yeah. you know what's you're wrong with you I, I need to know like what what is heavy <laughs> to you right to now what, yeah what drives you i think i think a lot of people probably feel the same way too it's probably not that unique it's like after we went through covid you kind of reassess your life and you're like okay we've lost x amount of people and there's no guarantee that today tomorrow's not promised Absolutely. type of thing yeah yeah so I think that realigned my priorities a lot where I was just like, I'm just going to go for it musically and like just in life in general, like spending time with my family and chasing my passions, which is music mm -hmm. and yeah. playing with this band that we've like, it's just been great to spend time with those guys. And we're always having a blast. Like we'll be warming up or not warm practicing for six hours and like having a great time six hours straight. When's the last time as an adult, you have fun for six hours, like rare, very right. Rare. That's, <laughs> that's like a, you know, that's very rare. So I just been kind of, trying to readjust my priorities that way yeah. it's not like material things and just like you know stuff that ends up you're just chasing your tail mm -hmm. yeah, for yeah. 30 years and then you're like oh i'm 65 what am i doing right i realize okay i'd rather just like value what i value and especially creatively you know it's kind of hard to get out of your shell sometimes sometimes you're feeling like you're trying to be in a box for the world you know what i mean yeah, yeah. oh i have a i have a real job i have this so i can't be a crazy artist too but then you start realizing, okay, no one's going to care in 150 years anyway, so I might, right. as well, <laughs> might as well do my thing. So that's kind of been 
that's what's most important to me is family and your passions. That's all you need. The important things. Yeah, that's really Always. all you need. Yeah, being a good question. Look at you. Sorry. Look at you with a good I, question. I mean, like, Great question. Really yeah, man. Good responses to everything. Great question. So I had to hit him with that. I mean. Yeah, cool, man. Well, we appreciate you coming on. No problem. Wish we could see your show, but we're going to try to catch you pretty soon, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll come out. Uh, we'll be in Fort Worth. I think we're going to be in uh, Tulips um, in July or something. Okay. June, yeah. June, June yeah. July. Okay. Shout we'll out to Tulips. There. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to Jason over there. Great guy. Tulips yeah. team. Yeah. Um, that's one of the best sounding venues in the Metroplex. Agreed. Yeah, it's, not it's just for worth. Yeah. I mean, he, the sound we we were we were there the other night doing a show, and it was amazing. It was yeah. so much fun. Yeah. They got it figured out. So but people man, can find you on Instagram, gr four nt gr four nt official, awesome. and TikTok and all that. I, I'm doing TikToks now. Would you believe that? It's been great. Are you good at it? Are you? Are you nah, <laughs> nah, I mean, it, we're it not is either. what it is. <laughs> well, the tick, it's starting to like. I'm getting some traction now, and I, I'm, several of them have you know thirty thousand views or whatever. I'm like. That's 30, a little more in traction, bro. 30, like, that's, 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 that's a pretty deal. damn good. Right, it started popping off, but it wasn't like that at all like a month ago. So yeah. it all started happening out of nowhere. And I'm like, there's 30,000 people watching me do this crap in my studio. Yes. <laughs> how, do you, how do you not have a blue check or anything? I don't know. Right? It's on the way. Manifest yeah, yeah. it out right now. Yeah, absolutely. Put it in the universe. Yeah. The universe. That's we're, on, we're on the way up. Hell yeah. Man. Congratulations yeah. on your blue check in advance. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just remember Thank that you. we did that. We threw it out. Yes. <laughs> all right, Grant. Three Thank more you so much for coming on, man. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. It's nice meeting you. Yeah, too. it's a pleasure. Thank you, guys. It's been awesome. Enjoy Again, the rest of your time. I'm sure we'll see great. you around, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be today? here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be out. I got a, a good crowd of people from from Austin that I've known since I was a kid. So this is like my good – My I have a better, uh, like, base crowd here than I do in Fort Worth, honestly. Yeah. No shade to Fort Worth. We love you. Yeah. But uh, I got a lot of people down here in Austin, so I'm going to try to replicate that in Let's Fort change Worth. that. Let's, exactly. let's replicate, yeah, we're replicate, gonna replicate that. that in Fort Worth and expound on it. Absolutely. Sure. Well, thanks, Grant. Appreciate yeah, you, thanks, man. Guys. So yeah. much, man. Great Peace. job on Thank your. You so Thank you. We'll see you out there. Yeah, I'll be here. Please welcome Tim to the stage and and Tim back to the chair. Oh, hi, Tim. Man, it was great listening to these interviews. Yeah. Um, because you, know, you don't have to do any work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right now I want to bring one of them up here to talk about Austin. So can you go ahead and yeah, uh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs>